IDs and keys in the Google App Engine data store. So we have this code here that I just showed you that uh, lists all the comments. We have all these comments in the database and this little for loop here creates, you know, there's a query that gets all the comments and goes through each one and prints them out like such, right? So these are the ones I have right now. And I will go over to the console. We can see that there, there's the four of them. Here's the content. And they all have this ID. Now the way the data store wor works is that every everything in the data store has a key. That's capital K, key, right? And this is the key uh, for this guy. It's this, you know, very strange thing. Um, but you can, uh, another way, you know, to get things from the data store is using uh, this ID and the entity kind. So you can generate or get a key. If you have the key, you can get any element in the data store and you can create a key using the entity kind and the ID of the element. So, and vice versa, once you have an element, you can show its ID uh, by first getting its key and then getting its ID from the key. Okay, let's, let's see how that works first. I'm gonna uh, extend this. So here I am just printing each comment, right? Um, let's go back here. So it's just printing each comment. I wanna print the ID of the comment and then the comment. So how do I do that? I'm gonna print the ID within a bold phase. Uh, so it's going to be the ID in bold and then the comment and uh, I have to, to do that. Oops. Uh, to, get, to get the ID, this is how I do it. First I get, oh, not, not self dot uh, comment. There you go. So I have the comment, which is in self dot comment. I get its key which is dot with dot key. And once I have a key, I can get the ID for that key with ID. And uh, let's reload the page and see if that worked. There you go. So 22 is my first test, 23, 24, and so forth. And we go back over here, and you can see that 22 is my first test, 23 is my second pose. Awesome. So that's nice, you know, so you have a way of getting at that. Now let's do it the other way. Let's say I want to change this, so if I go to slash comment slash 22, it will show me, you know, my first test. If I do it right now, that's not going to work because that's not even there. Let's write that code. Um, so first we have to go down here and specify that slash comment and uh, this, and the ID is going to go to, you know, the comment page, which I haven't written. So, okay, uh, so you see, you know, this is a regular expression, right? It's going to match everything that starts with slash comment slash and then something. So dot star is something. The parentheses is a nice thing that the web app provides. And uh, let me show you how that's going to work. So first I say class. This is the comment page, I said, and uh, it's going to extend that web app to request handler request handler and uh, then I have to def get self comma ID so that's where it comes in handy the, the parentheses so what it's gonna do is uh, anything that is within parentheses, the web app, it's going to take that and pass it to, in this case, this ID variable. So the first argument is going to be that. Right? So, you know, it saves me from trying to parse that and get that number out. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to do is just print just a general page. I'm just going to cut and paste this business over here. Right? So I have that and that. Um, and in between that, I, I knew I want to print now this guy. So how do I get him first? I have to get the key, right? So self dot the key that I want is, and the way you do it is db dot key dot from 
path. So I want to create a key from the path, and this is in the comment entity, and uh, I want the ID. Um, uh, I think I, I got that request handler wrong. There we go. Okay. So yeah, if you see little red lines, fix them. Whenever you see a red line, fix them. Except for these, these are a, a mis, uh, misspellings, of course. So okay, first you get the key. So from the comment and the ID, I can create a key, which is the key. Now I can use the key to get the actual comment entry in the database. And so self.comment is going to be db.get. And then I give it a key. So I can use that key to get the comment. And the comment is what I want. So I can then uh, print that out. Um, Self.response.write. And uh, let's put it again within a paragraph. And uh, there we go. And self comment remember we don't actually want the comment we want the comment content uh, or uh, yeah we don't need to put the uh, the ID right so I think that is uh, gonna work actually it's not but let me show you um, so 22 should say my first test Uh, I didn't like that. All right, it's going to say attribute error. No one has no attribute content because uh, I couldn't find uh, this is in line uh, 35, right? So you can go, well, uh, line 35 will be here when we're trying to get the uh, the content of the comment. Uh, self that comment was none. Um, what we want is uh, we want to make this a long. Okay. And then we can go back over here, and that works. So this is a little bit strange in the documentation. It actually says that this can be a string, but apparently that doesn't. That's not really true, at least with this setup. So when you pass the ID, the ID has to be a long. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. But once you do that, it works. Now this is not really good. You know, you if I put in a number that doesn't exist, then I'm still going to crash because uh, again, it's not going to find anything. We would want to put something like um, if self.comment is none, then I don't know. That, that, that means that comment doesn't exist, so that person is crazy. So you're just going to redirect them to the main page. So something like that might be a better thing to do for comments that don't exist, just send the person back to somewhere else. So if I want to get comment 23, that, uh, that should be the second post. And there you go, we got our second post. So that is how these keys work, right? And it's, it's a nice, it, it, SQL has you know, unique IDs, and the, these keys are serve a similar purpose, uh, except they're a little more confusing to use, uh, but um, they uh, they give, so as you create, the nice thing is as you create things, as you create comments, uh, which we do right here, each comment gets a unique ID for the comment, right? If you had other entities, they will have uh, also, their IDs will also start one, two, three. Uh, and you can use those to get individual entities uh, like so from the database and that uh, this is pretty fast. This is as fast as you can do it So that's it